Welcome to the Joy of Music. Featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. We invite you to meet great composers and performers. Travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps. Visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise Him with a psaltery and harp. Praise Him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bish. In the 12th century, a noted historian, Otto von Freising, once said, to those whom God loves, he gives a house in Zurich. Today we come to you from the largest city in Switzerland, and certainly one of the most beautiful, Zurich. We bring you a special presentation on the joy of music entitled, A Musical Visit to Zurich, Switzerland. Zurich is a city of much culture and fine music. It is a pleasure for me to welcome today on the Joy of Music, Miss Maria Goldschmidt, who is principal flautist of the Opera House Orchestra, one of the finest ensembles in Zurich.
It was our desire in a musical visit to Zurich to play the grand organ of the Gross Munster Church. However, as in the case of many old churches in Europe, it is under restoration with its two giant towers covered with scaffolding. The noise of the workmen would prohibit any recording. Instead, we chose a gem of an organ built in 1755 in one of the only Gothic churches in Switzerland. Situated in the charming town of Zug on the lake of Zug between Zurich and Lucerne, we were delighted to find such a masterpiece of not only a musical instrument, but the church as well.
the 16th century, Ulrich Zwingli sparked off the Reformation in Zurich. It was in 1519 that Zwingli was installed at the famous landmark church of Zurich, the Gross Munster. The motto of Zwingli, work and pray, was to mold thought patterns in Zurich for many years following the Reformation. Right into the 19th century, the 14th century town walls surrounded the center of Zurich proper, preserving intact an old town that visitors can still experience today. The modern silhouette of Zurich is dominated by three towers of three great churches. The Gross Munster, which has been Protestant since the Reformation, the St. Peter's Church, which boasts the largest clock face in Europe and the Frau Munster, which houses the famous Chagall windows.
course, Zurich is known for its culture, its scenic beauty, its banking, its music, its history, but it is also known for shopping. If you would like to spend a whole day and a whole bank account, just try shopping on the Bahnhofstrasse. Thank you. 
for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a special presentation, a musical visit to Zurich, Switzerland. We pray that you have been blessed and enriched by the music today. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. Diane Besch and the Joy of Music wish to thank Swiss Air, the civilized way to the world, for their support in helping to make this program possible.